My name is Peter Stückrad from the company Scheu Dental. I'm Head of Development and Application Technology, and I'll lead you through this video to present our pressure molding device, Ministar S. This training is intended for anyone who likes to use the Ministar S device. But first, some words about the pressure molding technique. This process is used for the deformation of thermoplastic resins and is applied primarily in splint therapy. These resins, so-called thermoplastics, can be deformed by heat and pressure. The Ministar S works with four bar and is designed for multiple applications in practices and laboratories. The current Ministar S is equipped with a scanner. By entering the corresponding barcode, the functional parameters are read and automatically programmed. The infrared heater is thermostatically controlled and reaches its working temperature within one second. Another special feature is the foldable pressure chamber, which allows one to heat the material side facing the model, which means material processing with excellent pressure molding results. The Ministar S is available in versions for mains voltage of 230, 115 or 100 volts. On-site power and compressed air sources are required to operate the machine. This video will help you to start your new Ministar S device for the first time. Let's open the box and have a look at its contents. Included are a pressure molding device Ministar S, stainless steel pellets to embed the models, a pellet brush with integrated magnet for quick removal of pellets and lifting the model platform from the model cup, a reusable pellet cover to cover the stainless steel pellets when fabricating splints to prevent the pellets from sticking to the heated soft material, an application booklet with detailed instructions on all kinds of applications except licensed products, operating instructions, a cleaning cloth to clean the infrared heater, power cable, silicone grease for the sealing rings, a sampler of pressure molding material and a protection cover. But first, I would like to briefly introduce the device. Swivable infrared heater for material heating. Pressure chamber, foldable by 180 degrees. Locking shaft to seal the pressure chamber. Model cup for embedding full models. Pellet receiver. Model platform for dental arcade models. Power outlet. Fuse compartment. Compressed air connection to connect the unit to a 20 bar air hose. Pressure regulator to regulate the pressure. Locking ring to fix the thermoforming material. Ceiling ring of the compensation ring. On and off switch. Display indicating heating and cooling times and pressure. Keypad for manual programming. Key code scan to activate the scanner. Clock symbol key to enter the heating time manually. Duo LED, green indicates the operational readiness, red heating operation, blue LED indicates the cooling time, continuous light and depressurizing flashing light. Key air for depressurizing and control of the working pressure. And finally, a slider to open and close the circumferential groove of the stainless steel pellets. At this point, I'd like to give you some hints for your safety and for the protection of your device. Check your device for any kind of damages before commissioning. If you observe any damage, the machine must not be started. 
Make sure the device is always supervised when it is switched on. Do not allow children to have access to the device. Make sure the device is not in contact with any kind of liquids to protect it against electric shock. Attention, the infrared heater and heater arm reach high temperatures. Do not operate the machine close to flammable materials. The Ministar S device should only be operated using its handles to avoid the risk of burns. For transport, the device should be cooled down. Never open or dismantle the appliance on your own. The device is designed for electricity systems with AC voltage of 100, 115 or 230 volts. Use only material with a diameter of 125 millimeters. Our devices are designed according to VDE Protection Class 1 and must be connected to a socket with a protective conductor. Please set up the Ministar S device so that the infrared heater, the pressure chamber and the locking shaft are not limited in their movements. Fill the stainless steel pellets that are provided with a delivery in the model cup and the remaining amount in the pellet receiver. When using the model platform, make sure that the contact surface of the model platform is free from pellets. Important, use only stainless steel pellets from Scheudental. Other materials might damage the device. Be sure to work with dry plaster models. A note, the use of wet plaster models may adversely affect the thermoforming result. Please use our original electrical connections and air connections. The compressor and the air pressure system you are using should always be free from oil residues and moisture and reach a minimum air pressure of 4.0 bar. The Ministar S is connected to the existing power supply by connecting the included power cable to the power socket on the back of the device. For the 230 volt version, there are two fuses in the power socket which protect the electronics from surges. A 20-bar air hose with filter element is fixedly connected with the device and should not be replaced. Connect the Ministar S and the corresponding air hose to your compressed air network, optionally by means of the quick coupling or by screw connection. The operating pressure is factory adjusted to 4.0 bar. The operating pressure should not be changed, since it guarantees the best thermoforming results. If, however, a pressure reduction is desired, you can change the pressure using the pressure regulator on the back of the device. To unlock the pressure regulator, pull it first and then turn it. Please make sure to lock the regulator again by pressing it in. If the pressure exceeds 4.5 bar or 65 psi, which does not comply with our specifications, the safety valve comes into operation and you will hear a loud ventilating noise. The device is in the normal position when the infrared heater is tilted backwards up to the stop. The pressure chamber is opened to the left. The locking shaft handle is pivoted back to the stop at a 12 o'clock position. The Ministar S device is put into operation by pressing the on and off switch. The test and adjustment mode runs for about 10 seconds before the home screen appears that is basically the starting point for any kind of thermoforming process. Programming is done via the keyboard or scanner and is shown in the display.
You can customize the system settings according to your needs, including language, pressure, temperature and screen contrast. Switch on the device. Press the CE button five times once the second screen is displayed. Select the required category using the digit and confirm your choice by pressing code scan. Pay attention to the correct timing and repeat the process if necessary. A precisely and well-prepared working model is the base for excellent pressure molding results. Make sure to embed the models in the model cup filled with pellets to the upper ceiling rim. My advice? Fabricate a duplicate model, in particular if you are using hard elastic material. If you are using hard or hard and soft material, it is recommended to use an insulating foil to facilitate the lift-off of the splint from the model. Thanks to the smooth surface, it will be also easier for the patient to insert, remove and to clean the splint. Thermoform an isofolan foil prior to the actual molding process of the hard material. Perforate the interdental spaces. Cut the material at the model base. You can easily lift off the model platform using the magnetic pellet brush. The pellet receiver that can be removed to the top contains the pellets required to embed the models. By removing the receiver to the top, a movable slider opens the circumferential groove to take up the pellets. Place flat trimmed models or dental arcade models on the model platform. Large models should be embedded as deep as possible into the pellets. This ensures that the material won't be stretched too long and gets too thin after thermoforming. Fill in the pellets to the sealing surface of the model cup, preventing the material from getting under the locking ring due to the high pressure. You can process round material with a diameter of 125 mm and thicknesses between 0.1 and 5 mm in the Ministar S device. Open the pressure chamber by swiveling it to the left to fix the material. Take off the locking ring by turning the handle to the 5 o'clock position. Place the sheet on the black ceiling ring you can see in the pressure chamber. Lock the pressure chamber by repositioning the locking ring and turning the handle to the 6 o'clock position. Make sure the device is in the basic position before switching it on. Activate the device via the illuminated on-off switch. A three-digit code has been assigned to all our thermoforming sheets, containing all relevant information on temperature, heating and cooling times. The code is printed in plain text and as a barcode on the thermoforming material or on the packaging labels. Press the button Code Scan. The scanner is now activated. Now present the barcode of the material you selected under the scanner until you hear a beep. You also have the option to enter a code manually. Enter the digits and confirm by again pressing the key Code Scan. You can also enter heating times manually, in particular for heating times under 20 seconds for which no code has been assigned. Once programming is done, swivel the infrared heater over the fixed material for heating. The temperature is controlled automatically by a thermocouple. 
Audible signals indicate the end of the heating process. The heating process is completed once you hear the continuous beep. A note, for security reasons, the device is automatically switched off after five seconds. Open the pressure chamber by a 180 degree turn to the right and turn the locking shaft by 180 degrees to the front. Thus, the pressure chamber is filled with compressed air and the cooling time starts automatically. Visual and audible signals indicate the end of the cooling process. Once you hear four beeps, press the flashing button air to depressurize the pressure chamber. Turn the locking shaft by 180 degrees backwards and push the locking ring to the left to open the pressure chamber. Once you have removed the model from the device, it is ready for the next thermoforming process. My advice, check out our training videos on specific indications. You can find them on our website, for example, under the heading Shoi Academy. Some applications require the use of a heating support, for example, for the fabrication of sports mouth guards or positioners. By heating the occlusal surfaces, you can realize the impression of the counterbite and a good compound. You can enter time intervals of 60, 120, 180 and 240 seconds for the heating time with the pressure chamber being closed and the locking shaft being open. Once you entered the corresponding heating time, swivel the infrared heater with the attached heating support forwards in the heating position. This procedure can be performed several times depending on the material thickness. Material dimensions differ depending on the device manufacturer. Using material of a smaller diameter may affect the pressure buildup in the device and consequently the thermoforming results. All Shoi Dental thermoforming materials can be found in our catalog or on shoi-dental.com in the category Products for Pressure Molding Technique. Clean the outer surfaces of your Ministar S regularly with a damp cloth. Keep it dust-free by using the supplied protection cover. Clean the compensation ring regularly and grease it with silicone grease. The model cup and the model platform can be cleaned from time to time using an air nozzle. The reflective surfaces in the pressure chamber ensure optimum heating of the material and should also be kept clean. Basically, our pressure molding devices are maintenance free. But please check the air hose with filter element regularly for deposits or humidity. Replace the filter if necessary. So, we have already reached the end of our training. There are more tutorial videos available on our Shoi Dental YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Your Peter Stückrath.